The Ceph Manager is one of three utilities included in Framework EDI or Freddy. It is used for viewing and editing Ceph files. To open a Ceph file with the Ceph Manager, just select the file from the Open Ceph File dialog box, then click on Open. The Ceph file opens in edit mode, but if you click on the layout icon or from the menu View then Layout, the Ceph file can be viewed in the format typical of most implementation guidelines. This is an overview of the transaction set showing all the segments and loops. You can click on a segment to get the details of its data elements and the values they contain. To go back to edit mode, just click on the document icon. In this mode, segments are laid out in a hierarchical tree. You can expand on a loop node to view its group of segments. And further expand on a segment to see its data elements. If a data element is of type ID, you can drill down further to view the code values it can hold. To make changes so as to follow your trading partner's guidelines, just right-click on a segment node and select an action from the menu. For example, to change this BHT segment from optional, as indicated by the O, to mandatory, just right-click on it, then from the pop-up menu select Change Segment Reference, then go to the User Requirement field and change Used to Must Use, then hit OK. A must use requirement indicates that this segment is now mandatory in the corresponding EDI files. To save this customized Ceph file, select File, then Save As, then type in a different file name so as not to overwrite the original Ceph file. For this example, we'll include a test company name. You can make several customized Ceph files for different companies from just one file. For more information of the Ceph Manager, please visit our website at www.edidev.com.